Aromatase is an enzyme that increases as we age. Aromatase catalyzes a critical step in the conversion of androgens to estrogen. This takes place in many tissues, including the gonads, bones, brain, as well as adipocytes. Both men and women have hormones called androgens, namely testosterone and androstenedione. Aromatase synthesizes estrone from androstenedione and estri estradiol from testosterone. So we need a little, but we don't want too much. Hormones are the most powerful signaling agents and can direct cells to repair and regenerate. Years ago, Donna DeMarco presented an intriguing webinar called Understanding Male Hormones. She articulated two major classes of problems exist when assessing hormones. First is the pituitary talking to the gonads, are the gonads listening? The second class of problems is a little trickier. It's called peripheral signaling. Peripheral signaling refers to these questions. Does the body have what's needed to make hormones? Is there anything causing hormone pathways to shunt in another direction? Is there something in our lifestyle that affects the enzymes or pathways? Is the liver breaking down or clearing hormones properly? And finally, is the gut carrying away the, the cleared hormones in such a way that pieces of hormones are not being reabsorbed? Let's look at a few of the things which can cause the peripheral signaling to go astray. Probably the biggest offender is an excess of refined carbohydrates, which will increase insulin and ultimately cause insulin resistance. Insulin is a major signaling hormone. Insulin, as well as cortisol, which we know comes from chronic stress, sits on receptor sites to block hormones. So right off the bat, we have to assess and support adrenals and manage diet. Not only is fat storage a result of insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome, but the enzyme aromatase is increased. And as we just discussed, as the enzyme aromatase is increased, so is estrogen increased. For men, we want to make sure we don't lose healthy androgens to estrogen. Also, natural aromatase inhibitors can benefit women because aromatase is expressed at higher levels in human breast cancer tissue than in normal breast tissue. As you might imagine, there's an exciting growing field to find ways to inhibit excess aromatase. Leading scientists are looking for foods that are natural aromatase inhibitors. Shiwan Chen, PhD, is the director of the Department of Surgical Research at the City of Hope in Duarte, California. His laboratory has found grapes, mushrooms, and red wine contain chemicals that can suppress aromatase activity. Perhaps the most exciting, however, is a grapeseed extract, procyanidin B, which according to Dr. Chen's research, reduces up to 80% of aromatase. Although not as aggressive as grapeseed extract, we find other foods and nutrients that suppress aromatase. I put together a list of foods and nutrients that suppress it. Including them in our diets has multiple benefits. Biotics Research makes two products high in grapeseed extract. One is called biocyanidins, which is a source of proanthrocyanidins. Biocyanidins contains 35 milligrams grapeseed extract a 95% pure concentrated form of OPCs, as well as 15 milligrams of pycnogenol. Clinicians have shared with me over the years that biocyanidins also helps chronic inflammation as OPCs are major antioxidants. One molecule of OPCs will quench thousands of free radicals. The other component in biocyanidins is pycnogenol, which has additional benefits with ADD and ADHD. Donna DeMarco shared that, that she started out by balancing sugar levels and adding button mushrooms to the diet. Next, she used biocyanidins one, three times a day to bring levels into balance upon retesting. A more concentrated product with multiple aromatase inhibitors is called Hormone Balance and Protect. It's designed to maximize the life of hormones and keep them in balance. Not only does it have 140 milligrams of grapeseed extract, as a 95% OPC concentration, but it contains other aromatase inhibitors like broccoli seed extract, zinc, and iodine, as well as botanicals to inhibit excess cell growth in general. But the side benefit that I'm most interested in is the topic of cancer stem cells. The current cancer strategies, namely surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, may kill or remove tumors, but they do nothing to inhibit cancer stem cells. Hormone Balance and Protect provides many botanicals that researchers are finding inhibit cancer stem cells. The dose is two twice a day. 
It's a product I personally take every day as an aromatase inhibitor and to maximize the effectiveness of my hormones. You can see a link to a great webinar that Dr. Bergson did on this product to the right. As you can see, this type of therapy often takes detective work to find out what's going on. And then it can take time to tweak therapies until patients experience optimal health. But starting with a diet high in natural aromatase inhibitors, reducing refined carbohydrates, and addressing cortisol status, and adding products like these to support hormone production can have a huge effect on someone's health. Thanks for taking time to be with me. I look forward to being with you again next Tuesday.